Hey guys, happy Friday. Uh, go ahead and get out your poetry packets. My e-learners, I have everything you will need up here. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our next poem. We are looking at an acrostic poem. So I'll give you a second to go ahead and get there. It looks like this. or thing. What is that called? A person, place, or a thing? A noun. A noun. Written in a vertical line. Ladies and gentlemen, vertical goes this way. Up and down. In all capital letters. Key capital letters. Then the poem is developed from the first letter on each line. The entire poem is about the name of the person, place, or thing. Whatever noun you are choosing. Okay? The example they have is Snickers. Who doesn't love a Snickers bar? Okay, so they underlined the title at the top, and then if you look over here on the left hand side in capital letters going down, it Snickers. spells Snickers. Now, each line of this poem needs to be something about Snickers. If you chose Snickers as your title, should you write about Reese's? No. no, you only talk about Snickers. You stay on topic, okay? It says, Snickers are my favorite candy. Nothing like another. In my mouth, a party begins. Caramel, chocolate, nugget, and nuts. Keep chewing and chewing. Every bite is a sweet delight. Really delicious, second after second. Such a wonderful treat. Now, I want you to take notice of the capital letters and the punctuation. I had friends asking yesterday uh, while we were doing our haiku about punctuation marks. And we talked about that in poems, punctuation marks are up to you. That's going to be your style as a poet. You'll see here at the end of this line, did they have a period here? No. no. And ladies and gentlemen, that's not going to be marked wrong. Okay? Poetry has so many different styles. If you wanted to put a period after this sentence, though, you could if you wanted to. Snickers are my favorite candy, period. Okay? I'm not going to mark it wrong either way because that's going to be your style as a poet. Same with the capital letters. Now, the acrostic has to have the capital letters over here because that's the style for this poem. But if you wanted to use all capital letters for the rest, if you wanted to have... Um, candy capitalized okay it's gonna be your choice it's gonna be your style and again it will not be marked wrong yesterday I said in your haiku if you want to use all lower cases even in the beginning you can that's gonna be your style okay so that is kind of the what I like about poetry uh, and what I think you guys will like is that you guys have so many choices in poetry okay there's a lot of things are, that are not right or wrong it's going to be your preference, what you choose that you like. All right. You also have then a planning page for your acrostic poem. So topic brainstorm. In these bubbles then, give me some nouns, some person, places, or things about things that you think you would like to write about. Okay? For me, I would do horses, uh, basketball, Family, Mrs. Long, ah, see heart, uh, and my students. Okay. Uh, all right. Then down here, 
is where you can go ahead and create your acrostic poem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be your rough draft page, okay? I am not collecting your rough draft pages. These are for you. What I am collecting, however, under Schoology, is I want your final draft of your acrostic poem, okay? My friends in Mrs. Long's class and my class, you can use your page that I printed for you, and then you take a picture. E-learners, you could do it on a regular piece of paper, or download this piece of paper, use Notability, your choice, either way, okay? This line right here, what is this top line for? Title. Title, okay? Now, you'll notice this poem for your final draft, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines. If by chance you are choosing something that is more than ten lines, then you'll need to use your own paper, okay? Or I guess an option if you wanted, you would have two letters per line and you need to write smaller, okay? Underneath, put by, you are the poet, write your name, and then you have a small illustration, okay? Illustration, same thing we talked about yesterday, are your choice on color. Uh, poets do black and white, so just with your pencil, you could use crayons, uh, markers, highlighters. You can make it simple as you want or as detailed as you want. It's your preference how you want your illustration to be. Now, making sure we stay on topic, again, if we're writing about Snickers, should we uh, write about to draw pieces of Reese's? No. No. Okay. Staying on topic. All right, let's do one together here. And I'm going to give you the title. teacher that I have and then it kind of makes it a whole sentence uh, B Aiden Ideas. I'm so 
okay? Ladies and gentlemen, do not ever use the same words. So if you had two M's, don't use mature twice, okay? Make sure you have a variety of words in there. We're gonna go ahead and stop there. Um, good ideas, good examples. So you guys have your acrostic poem and then your creative write also for 20 minutes. Creative write was a little different today in that you are not using your language notebook you are typing it on Schoology today. Make sure you read those directions. Bye, guys.